Innovation. It's driven by powerful ideas that lead to ingenious products and inventions. Innovation means engineers and scientists discovering breakthrough technologies, creating efficient business models, finding imaginative solutions to problems, filling the needs of demanding, ever-changing global markets. Join me in exploring how America innovation impacts our lives in so many positive ways. Check this out. It's a rock, a mineral from the earth that's making our world a healthier place. I'm John McElma. Welcome to Built in America Innovation Nation. We're at Oil Dry and Amlin International today to learn how this natural mineral is making our world a healthier place. Let's go on a journey. Nick Jaffe, who founded the company in 1941, couldn't have dreamed that more than 75 years later, this mineral, properly known as calcium montmerlinite, would be used in industrial and consumer applications and global livestock production. Fact is, oil dry has gone from the shop floor to your kitchen table. Nick figured out that calcium montmerlinite was very absorbent he started out selling it to factories as a better option than flammable, slippery sawdust that was used to spread onto floors to control oil spills. The product supporting this now familiar logo was called Oil Dry. Well, that's a lot easier to say for sure. Over time, the company diversified, using sorbent minerals to control moisture on ball fields, to refine edible oils, and for new kinds of cat litter. Back in 2007, Amlin International was formed as a subsidiary of Oil Dry Corporation to pursue the even wider usage of their mineral as a feed additive for livestock. So how does something like this become an innovative product? It's a great story. My dad, Richard Jaffe, who this lab is named after, had an unwavering belief in the American dream. So his grandmother came through Ellis Island in 1904 without two nickels to rub together. And her son, my grandfather, started this business in 1941 because he was at the Platteville School of Mines in the 20s on a basketball scholarship. He got thrown out for sleeping in class, but luckily he was awake long enough to see this mineral. And you know, they say necessity is the mother of invention. In the 40s, he came up with the idea of taking oil off garage floors. And there's not a mechanic in the world that hasn't had to use this because well, we're all a little messy. <laughs> oh, absolutely, and the name Oil Dry has become synonymous with the product, so absolutely. But you don't think of Oil Dry as something that can keep you healthy when you're eating dinner at your house. Well, that's where you go to the next generation. So my dad and I have had this unwavering belief that there's a lot of mystery locked up in these minerals, and if we invest heavily in R&D, we can, we can figure those out. That Mother Nature put everything on this earth we needed to be here, or guess what? You and I wouldn't be here. That's true. Yeah. Not a lot of life on Mars and Jupiter and so <laughs> forth. So we've spent a lot of money, millions and millions of dollars. We have MDs and PhDs who come in every day and try and unlock these mysteries. And that's how we solved one of the big global problems right now, which is how to replace antibiotics with a natural product and have it perform equal to or better. And that's kind of part of the research facility we're in right now because you really do invest a lot into making sure what you're putting out of the market is working. Well, we have to. I mean, our major customers rely on us. I mean, these are global multinational firms who are producing most of the world's food and they are relying on us to deliver the solutions that they need to, to deliver the food to the world. Tell me a little bit more about how a mineral, a natural product like this, become something that chickens actually eat. Well, I don't know if you've ever seen this. I have pets. Do you have pets? Oh yeah, we oh. all have pets. Okay, yeah. when my pets get an upset stomach, they'll literally go in the backyard and start licking the ground. Yeah. Because Mother Nature, again, put the stuff on the earth that we need to survive and thrive. Well, we're taking it to a higher level. We're trying to find exactly the right mineral. We have over hundreds of millions of tons of reserves over a hundred years. 
but we specifically mine this product and then specifically process it so that it actually, when it hits the animal's gut, it is binding the toxins that bacteria release, binds them, they excrete them, another sexy way of saying they poop them out, and the animal thrives. And so there's a lot of science going on here. A lot of science that's all based on nature. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this is a natural product and we are committed uh, to Mother Nature. I mean, she sort of put me through college and I'm, and I'm committed to putting the money and resources necessary into solving global problems naturally versus having to bombard these animals with antibiotics, which then when it gets in the meat, guess what? It gets in our blood and then when we need them to work, we've developed resistance and they don't work as well. So getting the antibiotics out of the human food chain is a major initiative globally and we, we've got a pretty good mousetrap. Dr. Shui, what is your official title here at the laboratory? I'm the Life Sciences Director of Oil Dry Corporation of America. That's a fancy title. <laughs> so explain to me exactly what you do. We've been dedicated to developing uh, natural and novel solutions to replace antibiotic use in the animal feed, especially for poultry. So in essence, you have a product that chickens eat that help them not have to use as many antibiotics. That's correct. How does that work? That's the magic of our product. I mean, we believe when our animal feed, such as environment, when they enter the animal's um, gastrointestinal tract, they can perform a lot of functions there. First of all, they can grab the bad bugs, uh, their toxins, and then they can uh, promote the immune function there. Coasu is an agriculture cooperative with 9,000 associates that operates in 28 cities in the southern part of Brazil. We have 50 years of history, but in the last 10 years have started poultry production. We export almost 30 million birds per year, which is about 60% of our total annual production. Initially, we started using Varium due to market demand for antibiotic-free meat. Most of the buyers of our products require naturally produced meat, we see the importance of not using antibiotics because they were created to treat disease, not to improve production. Many producers are afraid to stop using antibiotics because they believe the performance of the animals will decline and it will result in spending more money to produce the same quantity of meat. In our case, the results are better using Varium and our costs are lower. The results of using Varium were visibly better on improving gut health, which is the primary purpose of using the product. Also, feed conversion was improved, which means we can grow the birds the same weight with less feed. There are people in the world that have no money to buy food, much less to afford quality food. The necessity of the world to produce food with quality and quantity at acceptable prices is urgent. The world needs this to feed and sustain a growing population. Products like Varium are very welcomed by the industry because it can help improve food production in a natural way. Sean, have you heard about probiotics? Oh yeah, we all take probiotics. You see commercials for them on TV, they're in all the drugstores. Oh cool. So the probiotics are live microorganisms. Yeah. When consumed, they provide some health benefits to humans and animals. At Oil Drive, we isolated uh, very unique probiotics. This is the probiotics. Right here. So this is, a, this is what an isolated probiotic looks like. Correct. So. This oil dry particular string can uh, provide some protection against some poultry diseases. Uh -huh. So let's uh, see some results. So yeah, you've got me. You've got my hand in this thing. Is this? Yeah. This is a non-oxygenated environment. Is that why I have my hand in here? Right. Because these bacterial pathogens, they can only survive in the absence of oxygen. Oh. Oxygen can kill these bacteria because they don't have the metabolic activity to deal with oxygen. Interesting. 
And so what I'm looking at right here is something that your probiotic is working on, correct? Right. So basically what you see here are a lung of bacteria. So here you see the bacteria um, extract uh, on this filter paper can inhibit the mm -hmm. growth of this particular bacterial pathogen. This is a very important bacterial pathogen. It causes billions of dollar losses each year for poultry industry. So the one on the the one with the CK that that's, that's a control. That's water that's the control. Okay. Yeah, it means water cannot inhibit the growth of the pathogen. But the other one with the with the with look, looks kind of like a ring around it. Right. That's inhibiting it from growing. Yeah, that's called a zone of inhibition. So basically, the bacteria cannot grow in the presence of this particular probiotic. And this is all natural stuff that you're working with. There you go. Correct. Yeah. Wow. So this natural th this research that you're doing. If this, is a, if, if this is in some poultry or a chicken, then you're able to keep it from growing and making the chicken sick in a sense. Right. Wow. So this probiotic can save lots of chickens. That's innovative. And I kind of feel like a scientist. Welcome back to Built in America Innovation Nation. You know, we've been learning all about this natural mineral that is helping our livestock. And I'm here with Fleming Moss, who is the president of the company. Is it safe to say, Fleming, that, that even though this mineral, this piece of earth has been around forever, that this is relatively new technology? It's, it's relatively new in the way that we understand how it works. The mode of action, how it really affects the gut is something that's new. The way we process the material to be able to enable it to have that kind of mode of action is, is definitely new. And then assigning it and giving it other properties and other ingredients that helps really enhance the performance even further in the way it works in the gut is, is absolutely new. It's revolutionary stuff and you know, learning what we're learning about it today, it's something that you want to see in all poultry production. What is the future of using this? I think for a lot of ways the industry right now is in a flux. It's struggling trying to find really the right solution, both economical and performance, to enable them to have a solution that they can say that, hey, it works as well as using the antibiotics they've been using for years. And so our approach is really, I think we found a solution in what we proprietarily know from our minerals and the specialty we, we are able to provide that. And given that action and mode of action it provides, now we have a program that other producers can use, whether it's poultry or swine or others, but primarily we're focusing on poultry because that is the primary protein around the world. So that's for us to get also pay for our development here and be able to show producers exactly how the mode of action works. And the reason I mention that is because when you talk to people at our larger producers, they're very, very technical. They're PhDs. They really want to know, yeah, I see it does that, but tell me how. And so for us to be able to explain to them and they build the confidence, they don't want to just see the results. Yeah, that looks good. They want to know how because it's all about owning the food supply chain from the little chick that hatches out of the egg to what you pick up on the shelf at the grocery store. They want to make sure it's safe and it's healthy and they, their brand stands behind it. Now I'm with Dr. Ching, you know, one of the most important things to find out how this innovative product works in the field is to actually be able to test it in the field. Yes. And you have a product that does that. Yeah, actually this is not product, it's kind of service. Oh, nice. We try to provide a better service to the customer, making sure our product, you know, before and after the customer can see the change right away. Nice. Yeah. And, and how do they see those results? Yes. Uh, basically, we develop uh, different uh, the dipstick or quick strip test. Okay. Like here, I demonstrate here. Yeah. Uh, like this is the, the chicken poop. Oh, and, uh, oh okay. So we're, we're using chicken poop. Yeah. I, that makes sense, really, yeah. because you want to see how it's coming out. Yes, correct. And okay. everything can be finished like in 10 minutes. Really? On site. You know, over there, the cu customer can see right away what's going on over there. So it's like, just like the pregnancy test. Oh, really? Yes. You just, you know, 
open the, this tube. Okay. And then, then collect whatever the chicken poo you, you collect. And then mix well in the tube mm -hmm. for a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. And then remove the spoon. And the, here is the, the strip. There's a two line. One is the positive in reference and the, another one is the, the test line. So you just insert. In five minutes, you will, when the water suck up to the, you know, all the level, mm -hmm. you will see the result. Excellent, and we've got one right here where the results yes. are already sh shown. So when, when you've waited the five minutes and you pull this out, what am I looking at here? I see yeah. the top line. Yeah. That tells me that it's working. Yes, okay. it's working. And the, you didn't see the second line. Means, I did not. Means the bacteria is low. No so bacteria. Mean, yeah, so it means this farm is, you know, the older chicken, they are all healthy. Wow. Yeah. So you can use this test in the field with all of your chickens to yeah, see yeah, yes. actually what's going on inside yes. of them. Yes, correct. Wow. That is very cool. More innovative stuff they're doing yeah. here because you've got to be able to see how it works in the field yes. to make sure you're getting the benefit of the product. Yes, true. To meet shifting consumer demands, many large producers of chicken have shifted to a no antibiotics ever policy. Amlin's Varium Natural Feed Additive is now an integral part of the solution, helping to safeguard food production and meet food security and sustainability goals around the globe. One of the approaches to uh, no antibiotics ever uh, production uh, that's shown some success for a lot of companies is using a combination of additives in the diet. It could be enzymes to allow the bird to more thoroughly digest the ration. It could include also a prebiotic. It could include a probiotic. So the prebiotic is uh, a compound that helps feed the good bacteria, and then you're seeding the bird with good bacteria by giving them the probiotic. There are a number of different enzymes that are available. Uh, there are a number of different probiotics. There are a number of different prebiotics. They aren't all the same, and it's important for that producers test them, work with them. They're all safe, but how effective that mixture is going to be is going to depend on the individual complex. Issues of food safety, quality, and availability have never been more critical than they are today. The coronavirus pandemic brought these concerns to the forefront. Amlin International is delivering new technologies and solutions that support best practices throughout the food production chain to make sure the dinner you put on your table tonight is affordable, nutritious, and safe. Welcome back to Built in America Innovation Nation. You know, we've been talking about this rock, mm -hmm. and this is an amazing piece of the earth. You are really responsible for making this into something that poultry can eat, and I'm curious to know what that process is. Okay, we can walk through it. And if you think about it, this hunk of rock is actually composed of minerals, and it's 50% space. Okay. It can hold its own is weight in water. Is that why it's so light? It's so light. Yeah, because I mean, you can't, you can't see this, but this is, I mean, this is almost light as a feather. Right. Yeah. So the way our product works, it's the pores and surfaces that are in this material that allow it to absorb and bind the various toxic materials that you might find inside of a chicken's gut. It's incredible when you think about that. Now, how do you get this into what, what looks like normal feed you know, for, for a chicken. How does that work? Well, we take this mineral and we mine it and we run it through our large uh, manufacturing plants that take it, thermally process it, and turn it into a fine powder that looks like this. So this eventually ends up like that. And that material is what's mixed with animal feed that then the chicken or other livestock will eat. One of, just one of these little particles here, if you would expand it, and this is a model of one particle, would look like this. It's very porous, has lots of pores and surfaces, and these pores and surfaces can absorb the fluids, and if there's toxic compounds, 
toxins, say, from bacteria, can actually bind themselves to the mineral surfaces. So in essence, if I were to take a teaspoon of that, mm -hmm. mix it with some water and drink it, mm -hmm. this would go through my body. And work its way eventually work its outside. Way out. mm -hmm. And as it goes through, it'd be cleaning everything out and making me healthier. It scrubs the toxins out of you. And that's basically what it's doing with the poultry in order for them not to have to use the antibiotics. Correct, and that's with our how we've leveraged this mineral with our cross-functional team of various scientists, not just the mineral itself that does the adsorption, but other modifications and compounds we've added that are natural that provide multiple layers of protection for the animal and the varium product that we looked at today. And this has not been a short journey for you. You've been on this journey for 28 years. I have been on the journey for 28 years. Our product actually started about 56 million years ago. 56 million, million years ago, yeah. this was created. Yep. And now we're innovating that and mm -hmm. creating products that are making all of us healthier. Right, exactly right. That's a long time in the making, but worth it. Yep. <laughs>